Hi everyone, today I want to solve a nice and important integral. Let's talk about this. If you have an integral dx over the square root of a square over minus x square over, we want to find this integral. Before uh, I start to talk about this, it's better to know if you have a square over minus x square over in most of the integral, and uh, it's better to use uh, or it's better to write x as a times sine theta as a variable transformation that's that's uh, useful to solve the integral okay and i do this right now and if you take a derivative or it's better to say take differential in both of them the right side and the left side in the right side you can uh, write the take derivative of sine theta that's cosine theta and we have a right there and times d theta and the left side we have x the derivative of x that's just equal one times dx that's just dx and you can uh, graph triangle and we know theta it's here imagine theta it's here and uh, x over a that's just equal sine theta i mean uh, this one and this one okay and uh, this one this uh, side is just that's just equal the square root of a square over minus x square over. Okay, let's solve the integral. After that, uh, I can write cosine theta as the square root of a square over minus x square over over a right there. And I can write a times cosine theta that's just equal the square root of a square over minus x square over. Let's put our equation in this integral. If we put uh, a times cosine theta times d theta in a dx in an integral, we have this one. And for the square root of a square over minus x square over, we calculate a times cosine theta. And we put it in here. And we can cancel and cancel both of them. And we have 1 times uh, d theta. And the integral of 1 is just theta plus c. Okay, and we want to find theta to uh, solve the integral. And we uh, know that x over a just equals sine theta. If we use sine inverse in both of them, the right side and the left side, in the left side, we have sine inverse of x over a. And in the right side, we have sine inverse of sine theta. That's just equal theta. And theta is just equal sine inverse of x over a and the final answer for this integral will be equal sine inverse of x over a plus c if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you have a good day